Hey, this is Chris, and this is my OD loadout. Let's check out the boots. They're uh, black boots, got them from Walmart. What I like about them, they have a little bit of a squat look to them. Padding right here, got the little mesh, so that's kind of nice, plus it's a high ankle boot. All right, so then my pants, I got 511 Tacticals. They fit real nice. I believe they're like a 32 to 35 extendable waist. So even if you're a little fat, you can still fit into them. All right, the knee pads, they're uh, ALTA. They fit real nice. They have a, a set of Velcro. They have double latches right here which you can go ahead and pretty much adjust to any size that you want. My holster that I got, it's a UTG with a clip holster right there. Also some right here. Um, I got my Allen tool right there as you can see just to go ahead and change out my CO2. And then I got my drop pouch right here. UTG as well. Got my Thunder Bee in it. Got a sweat rag. Got two extra G35 clips. It's my UTG Molly vest. I went ahead and got another drop pouch right here that holds all of my, uh, my dead rags, some CO2s. It's also got some spots if you want to hold any Thunder Bees. The double G36 mag pouches. Just hold four more clips. Two Thunder B pouches. My radio holder. It fits perfectly. Got no complaints with it at all. Got the communication comm from Academy Sport. It's a little difficult. It moves around a little bit if you don't have any, I guess, headgear to go ahead and put it on. My Shema, I think like 10 bucks. Real nice. My goggles, they're Rio Vision. They're uh, the ones that can withstand a shotgun blast from 10 feet away. Gotta love that. Vents real nice. There's no fogging. My hat little sniper cap, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's talk about the big guns. It's pretty much my pride and joy, my G36 CV, and I uh, went ahead and upgraded it to uh, what I call an M36 EV, extended version. Put a custom cheek rest on it. It's real nice and soft. A red dot, it's got 11 different settings. Went ahead and just picked up a, a cheap little bipod. Helps out a lot, but it also, it also extends. Foldable hand grip that folds front and folds back. I went ahead and upgraded to the UTG sniper rail. I can put any type of scope on it that I want, but I went with the uh, the K handguard, just because, uh, as you can see, I like my accessories. A little $25 laser. I got the UTG tack light, the M200 rail, and then on the inside, I have AIM gears. I have an AIM fully built piston. If you can see through there is my inner barrel, and it's uh, 550 millimeters. And this little box right here, I got my 5000 mAh 8.4 volt battery. And to top it all off, to record some games, got my little iPhone case to make some to make some awesome videos. And then with the pistol, it's just a little H and K, a little USB. Holds about, I want to say 14, 15 rounds, a little CO2 in it. Just clip it in and you're good to go. Alright, so this this is my bad boy right here. This is my bazooka slash mortar that I made from home. 100 percent custom. Holds up to 80 pounds, open with a ball valve. There's no flame, no fire, no nothing that you'd have to worry about with competitions because they won't allow that. And boom, good to go. Hey man, this is Chris. Thanks for checking out my loadout.